Hey everybody and welcome back to I Heart Board Games here live on Twitch for our very first Sunday stream. And today we're doing something a little different for Cinco de Mayo. We're playing Fiasco! Fiasco is a game by Bully Pulpit Games and Jason Morningstar. I am Ronald and with me I have... Travis! And our other hosts are here as well. Alyssa! And Jesse. And Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> So if you're a little bit confused, don't adjust your set. Um, we are playing an RPG today, which is Fiasco, doing something a little bit different from our normal fare. And because also today is Cinco de Mayo, we have... Margaritas! <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy Cinco Cheers. de Mayo. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm, um, so yeah. And that's all we're doing. We're just telling you the name of a game and drinking. That's the whole stream. It's a drinking game. Yeah, so we... Um, Tell us about Fiasco, Ronald. <laughs> well, um, I will. Um, but I was just going to say that usually you would see us on Saturdays, but today, from now on we're on Sundays at 3 p.m. Central. And, of course, we're always here on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 Central in the board game area. So check us out there. Today we're somewhere different. Yep. Are you okay? I shook my head. I was watching it. Yeah, just... Uh. <laughs> so, right. what is Fiasco? Fiasco is a book, as you can see. <laughs> um, it's not a board game at all. And uh, this allows you to play a role-playing game without, a, like, a GM, a game master, or anything like that, and just uh, in, like, a few hours. It's completely self-contained, and it is dice-driven. It's driven by what we and role-playing games called D6s, mm -hmm. which are just six-sided dice. You need eight white and eight black, or just eight light and eight dark, whatever you want to do, it's fine. They don't have to all match like ours do, we're just fancy. And you basically need like some pieces of paper, and you need this book, and you're ready to play. So we have all played Fiasco just one time before, and... It was a hoot and a half. It was a fiasco. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it, I thought it was great fun. I, yes. was, I was laughing, crying. I was crying because yeah. I was laughing. The whole point of Fiasco is that it's supposed to be a fiasco. That it's supposed to just be a complete mess. So Somewhat nonsensical. It worked. Um, and this book comes with four different playsets that you can choose from. And today we've chose the play, chosen the playset, The Ice. So the ice... Because nothing says Cinco de Mayo like <laughs> playing in the ice. The uh, rocks. The ice <laughs> takes place at McMurdo Station in Antarctica. So that's where we're going to be setting our game today. The game is played over two acts. So first there's a setup phase where we kind of decide how our, our characters are related to each other, what their names are, and you guys can help us decide that. Then, once we start playing the game, it will be two acts. In act one, each of us is going to play out two scenes. And then in act two, each of us is going to play out two scenes. And then uh, in the middle of those two acts will be something called the tilt, where all of our plans get flipped on their head. And then the after act two, we'll have the aftermath. Um, there's a table in the book. You're going to check what dice you have. You're going to roll those up and you're going to consult the book to find out what happened to you. So um, I think that's probably enough information to get us started. So um, if you're out there in the chat, uh, chat us up. Let us know you're here. We would love for you to help us uh, make decisions or set scenes. Decide our fate. Yep, decide our fate. Um, yeah, should be pretty fun. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to do is roll all of these dice. So since I'm right here next to it, I will roll them. The hands of fate are rolling. Yeah. <coughs> all right, and then Plus. the book recommends uh, to organize them by, nu by number. Uh, by numero? Mm -hmm. By numero. Put those on the close up. Just so I can see that. And I'll turn that on in a second. Oh, it's on top. Look at him way up there. Yeah. Now, last time we uh, did this, we didn't have uh, all the numbers. We just had. A, we, we didn't have any, any threes. Yeah, we were threeless. <laughs> but this time it's different. We have one three and one, and one four. four. Twenty of five. If we were playing Arkham Horror, we would have this would have been a great roll. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there you go. You can see 
what we have to start the game with. Um, no, we're going to move those in a second. But uh, throughout the course of the game, whenever people are doing scenes, you're going to be giving these dice to <laughs> them. The dice. <laughs> They're a bit far. Go right? on. <laughs> like this. Uh, you're gonna be, we're gonna be giving these dice to each other um, to dictate whether the scene is gonna go well or bad for the character that's involved. So the first thing we're gonna do is start the setup. Uh, this game says that the person who starts should be the one who's from the smallest hometown. We found <laughs> we out. Established this <laughs> yes, very we clearly. Established we looked it we up, uh, and it's Jesse. So Jesse is going to be able to start yes. us off. Jesse, well, how many people? Should be paid what was the population of your from, small town? He's from the about 10,000. I think Pedro has As less, but he defers. Thousand. He's for the Antarctic. I think, would, I think he would have less. Is is he going to actually play with us? Mm -hmm. No. He's just going to play. He's, he's going to be with me. He's, okay. He's gonna, you guys going to play together. Yeah, he's going to help me. Okay, great. Um, <sighs> She's a druid. Her. That's her familiar. <laughs> yep. So, uh, in order to start the setup, we are going to access the relationship table. Which um, I think you have a way of showing that on screen. Oh, uh, yes, we do. <coughs> we have all of this. I was just, just doing some mm -hmm. setup stuff. So, copy that and let's go to relationships. So, um, we're looking at a book here, but you guys have the same information on screen. Um, so, you can help us uh, make these decisions about what we're going to do. Jesse is going to select a die. And he's going to start up a relationship between two characters who are standing adjacent to, adjacent to each other. So, hmm. so I have my choice of anything right now. Yep, just Three. the top category. Oh yeah, just the top category. Yeah. Well, let's go with um, soul. Lifers on the ice, the only survivor. The one he's taking a body. six. Yeah, let's do soul. That sounds neat. Between Ronald and Travis. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's right. You want to set one between yourself? Nope. I want that to be a surprise. <laughs> um, Just like it was a surprise for you. So we're going to take uh, this paper and we're going to write soul on soul it. Soul stone. <laughs> yeah. All right. right. Travis, um, you can either define this relationship or you can pick another relationship to work on. Yeah, I kind of... Uh... I want to see the... Is it too obvious to make Jesse and Melissa romantically involved? Oh, I kind of want to see... I think that's funny. I kind of want to see it play out. <laughs> um, Alright, so he's taking the only three take, that's in the game. I want to take nice. the three for Jesse and Melissa. So you guys can write romance right there. Because this is, this is a social experiment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're going to see what a real-life married couple will do with this. Um, okay, let's see... I am going to define a relationship between me and Melissa. Melissa and I, let's see. I think we have something in the community. Five? Yeah, five. Your tour guides now. <laughs> Who knows? I like it. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. All right, Melissa? All right. So you need to decide so you can Travis either, and myself, huh? Or you can, or you define, can one define one of these one relationships. Of those, yeah. Ah, okay. Um, so between the two of y'all? Or define Or you could come further. under community and say what we actually so are. So you've got two relationships you could further define for yourself. You could define this relationship. I think I'm going to make crime between the two of you. Oh, okay, Jesse and so I that's our only four. If you could write see a one down in the twos. Crime there? Please. Crime. Yep. Jesse uh, was a criminal the last time we played. <laughs> got a lot of ones in here, folks. That's just cool. straight up crime. Jesse and I are criminals. All right. Yeah. Crime. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be telling uh, you too. The three's going on crime. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. So you can either define one of these relationships, or you can start a need, a location, or an object. Let's see. Let's um. Don't forget, you have these. Yes, I do. <coughs> yes, I do. So let's take a look at those locations. Well, we're not doing that yet, right? Or, you can. Oh, you can. you can do a need, a location, an object. So you could do one of the big ones. Yeah. I mean, usually you start with needs first. 
and location and object will, are kind of last. Yeah, the need but. will dictate those other two. Or My maybe vice versa. Uh, <laughs> so let's take a peek at needs to get out, to get even, to get off, to get respect, to get the truth. Get laid. You can skip three and four because we don't have three and fours left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can't get off or get respect. That's okay. No respect. Um, I like get even. I say to get the truth. Get even. We did that last time. Oh, you would die. So to get out. We must get out. This horrible tundra I'm getting cold. We have a lot of ones. Too much snow. I think to get out would apply to more people. So let's say to get out for the need. All right. Okay. So that's a number one. To get out. Travis, what do I apply yeah, who it goes to? I'm, I'm looking you can put it between some people right now if you want. So I can have anything but a three or four? Uh, Let's have this between Melissa and Ronald. Ah, community people that gotta get out. Yep. Get out and be in the community. Yeah, um, they're so, yeah they're community minded, but they wanna get out of it. Like, we gotta get out of here. It's just too much. Uh, can I go to back to the relationship table, please? Sure. Um, so I could define Jesse and I's crying relationship. Mm -hmm. One, two, five, or six. Uh, hoodlums. Uh, no, drug people's too hoodlums. easy. Hoodlums. We could be sports. I like that they they, they clarify enthusiast. sports enthusiasts. I just let's be sports enthusiasts. Oh, yeah. sports. Cr criminals. Yeah. So we're gonna use that five. We are sport enthusiast criminals. Could you write hoodlums right here? Because and there's a lot of sports enthusiasts. in the Antarctic. Right. <laughs> okay. Dog sledding those, and what, what are those? We're here to start the, with the squishy. The thing penguin that... tipping <laughs> pool. What is that? The ice sport. The uh, ice sport. We do mean little, little curling? Precious. curling. Yes, curling. Yeah, curling. Something you, know, like you do to your hair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Like so that's up to me now to think about something. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I spelled that right. Okay. It's just shenanigans. <laughs> well, Melissa, I think it would be fun if you and I were visiting dignitary handlers. <laughs> and you've got to get out. We gotta I'm get tired out of, of all these like... dignitaries coming to Antarctica. Or maybe we should be isolated co-religionists. Oh. Co-religion? No, no. <laughs> we <be> Catholics. Ooh. <laughs> or we could be search and rescue volunteers. I need to get out. Then we need to get out. <laughs> we gotta find them and get out. Wait, what was the first one you said that would be fun? What? What is visiting it dignitary hand handlers? I think handlers. That's, I think that's. Like, what's the handlers part? Maybe. So, like, whenever We're someone comes from a foreign country, you have to basically walk, walk around with them and help them go everywhere, oh. and so they don't get lost. Basically, you take show care of them. You're babysitting. Yeah, yep, you're babysitting. All right, let's do that. The welcome. So, if you could We're write the welcome that. Welcome committee. They want to get out. Or I guess I'll write that, and because it's your turn. Hmm. Okay, um... Remember, you can still define this need. You've got another need that could be... You chosen. can define this relationship, that relationship. Mm -hmm. Or the location of the object. Oh, that one over there. Y'all are... What, what are y'all over there? Soul. 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 You remember Rifers on the ice, the only survivors, two of a kind, <coughs> misanthropes, or poet and muse. Let's make y'all a poet and muse. Dibs on muse. Yep. All right. Write that here, please. Poet, poet and, and muse. muse. <laughs> I'm a handler, but I'm also a poet. Right. <laughs> and you didn't know it. Mm-hmm. And the subject of your poetry? This. Whatever <laughs> yeah. this is. <laughs> we don't know yet. I love sports. I can tell you what. <laughs> it's a sports hoodlum. It's a sports hoodlum. Sports hoodlum. Right. All right, Jesse, what do you want to do? You can define one of the... The, the only relationship that's left to define, you could define this need, or you could start one of these other categories. I once knew a sports hmm. enthusiast from the Arctic. <laughs> wow. Let's go, um... Wow, these are some crazy locations. It's Antarctica. Well, we're in Antarctica. <laughs> that's what I was going to say, like, mm. I'll drink to that. <laughs> yep. I already need another one. Kitchen recreational building. I mean, at least some of them are buildings. It's not a beer, so I think we're okay. <laughs> That's everything that you chink chink. Oh. 
I thought it was just with the beers. <laughs> Knowing what kind of backgrounds we have. Yep, I was like, I, I was feel like, like you're <laughs> making a, a, you're cheating. How's he cheating? Well, I'm going he's with choosing what we it based on what he can Google and, <laughs> and the green screen. Yeah. <laughs> but also, it but has honestly, to be one of these the numbers. One. We don't we even have, have we have one, two, five, or six. So the outdoors would work best. So but, um, either the sea, the island, the business, maybe. the science, or the island. I, I mean, the island. we steer away from that a little bit. I mean, you can Google icebergs. We can sure. still go outside. I mean, it's yeah. no big deal. Yeah. Let's go, um... Let's see where it's getting. Number one. Yeah. yeah. You're choosing location? The Weddell Sea. Somewhere beyond the sea. Can you write that here? Um, what's my turn? Um, um, sorry. <laughs> so what's one, two, five, and six? Here? My penguin dances with a Mexican the hat. Um, or you could still do a need, an object, or define this need. I could... Or their relationships on ACB to find I mean, well. I was the one that chose romance for them. Um, now you oops, could choose former spouses, current spouses, lovers, or former lovers. Um, I'll leave that to someone else. Um, go back to location, please. Uh, atop the iceberg, uh, the SEAL research camp on the sea. <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny already? <laughs> How much of that did you drink? <laughs> All of it. Number oh, two, man. the Weddell Seal Research Camp on the Sea Ice. Okay. Because I just think it's funny. I'll be Googling seal. <laughs> it's oh, a Weddell I Seal think. Research Camp <laughs> on the Yay, Sea Ice. Friends for Patreon. I'm sure that's actually a real thing. There's a lot of sporting opportunities, that's why. Yeah. Oh, that's kind skating, of sport. I guess. <laughs> Ice hockey. We're gonna open ice the skating. seal. All right. I think the criminals need a need. Oh, we have we a need. Do. We have a powerful. We need. have to switch the. There we go. Need. For speed. Uh, well, it's gonna be one, two, five, five or six. Or six. Like everything. One, we do only have one last five, five and one last six. Um. Well, we already have it to get out. True. Get even. Mm -hmm. I think to get even. Yep. Okay. Hopefully with everybody on the ice. Melissa. All right, Melissa, you can define the romance, you can define this need, or you can define this need. I think I will define the need. The need to Oh, get there's also out. the object. We haven't started that Ooh. yet. Let's look at the objects to see what numbers. So that, that makes a difference. So have one, two, five, and six. Untoward, forbidden, information, or sentimental. We only have one, two, five, and six left. Untoward. We have one, two, one, five. I like the black and white. A ice urine barrel? Seal. What in the heck? What? Whatever a, that is, pick wait, it. Wait, a dead seal? Ooh, dead seal. all of these are great. Dead seal. Okay, well, the you can just, seal. all you can do is choose the one, seal. untoward, if you want to do that. All right, one. One for the object. Can you write untoward right here? What does that even mean? Look at the look at the things. Untoward. They're toward. They're it, it becomes obvious when you look at They're them. A urine things. barrel, <laughs> a crashed helicopter, a dead seal, candid photos of the deputy director. <laughs> Jesse, it's your turn to choose. We do have an object. You would have to choose. So there's one of four things dead you can seal. choose from. Dead seal. I like all of those options. Mm. We have a one, two, a five, and a six still. Don't forget, Melissa, when you get to the end, that last die is wild. You can make it any number you want. Oh, so we could go back to that three. What did we want for a three? It was a high. It was, ca it was a top category three. It wasn't mm. an under category, or I would have suggested it. Well, let's uh, get even with everyone on the ice. I like that. <laughs> um, can you take me back to objects, please? Um, so I can have a one, two, or a five. So I could go with the urine barrel, a stalker's notebook, or what happened to a dead seal. Dead seal. <sighs> the room wants dead seal, but I kind of want the urine barrel. What are you gonna? How are you gonna make a story around a urine barrel? That's the game. <laughs> Who let him drink? Well, you. You brought it this time. 
Come I choose with me. five. A dead seal. Yay! Dead seal! Dead seal! Because the room wanted me to. Well, the room's not even, like, talking. Well, this room <laughs> wanted me to. I don't know if it's because it's, our, it's our weird you. day or because we're in the different category. Uh, I switched us back, actually. I looked at the other people going on. It made sense to be, you know, I didn't want to get buried. Yeah, so we're, we're in board games right yeah, now? Yeah, we're kind of board games. Yeah. It's just, it's a different off day. you got to get used to the, the new... Let's take out a mile. People are busy. Yep. All right, so there's two needs that still need to be defined. Can we go back to the needs table? Mm -hmm. uh, but there's one Y'all's need. need to get out and y'all's relationship. Oh, a relationship. Hmm. Well, I think I'll leave that for Melissa to define because she can choose any number if I what, once I get done here. Uh -huh. The need to get out of a work detail that is killing you or of a relationship that's turned weird. <laughs> What are y'all? Y'all are visiting dignitaries? We're visiting the handlers of the, the dignitaries. The handlers? That could get weird. I think either one is... Well, it, or a work detail. But either one of those works well. I think it's a work detail that is killing you. Like, I can't take much more of these people. If I have to explain about one more penguin sighting. All right, Melissa, you can choose any number you want to define that relationship. Can we go back to relationships, Jesse? Um, so you're under romance, Melissa. You mm -hmm. can choose any one of those six. You can be former spouses, current spouses, lifelong crushes, a one-time fling, lovers, or former lovers. I think I'll just keep it at two. Current, current spouses. spouses. We're current spouses. Oh, that's kind of what a, a cop-out. <laughs> nah, this is my social experiment in action. You see, it's interesting. She chose to be what she is in real life. What does that say about Melissa? <laughs> I would have picked, um... Lifelong crush object or one-time fling. See, I'd have picked former spouses because I think that's more interesting. <laughs> oh, that's, that's too dangerous. I was, well, I was between the current that's and the lifelong happened. crush part. All right, well, write down your choice on that card. Yeah, you're not committed to ink Let's yet. See. Yeah. Um, I'll take the crush. Let's go with the crushing. You you mentioned that, and I was I was in between. Oh, so go. let's go with a little, a little different. Uh, lifelong crush, object of crush. Pedro, you gotta take a, a penguin seat down here. Ooh, and that's the game. That's and we're game. done. <laughs> uh, no, that's just a joke. Um, but wait, there's more. Lifelong crush. And the object of the crush. Who? Who's who? Um, I think who's I think you there? crush on Jesse. Although I think it would be much funnier to see it the other way around. <laughs> Correct. Oh, that got changed. We're not yeah. the. We're not current spouses yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but one of you crushes on the other. Yeah. Oh. I think Jesse should be the crusher, and Melissa should be the crushy. Well, yep. oh, they get to decide. Yeah, they do. But that's my vote. All right. So what do we know? I am living, or I have a crime relationship with Travis. We are both sports, sports enthusiasts. enthusiasts. But I guess. <laughs> In gambling, but at the same time... We want to get even. We want to get even. With everyone on the ice. Everyone on the ice. Yes, and... We are yes, in and. the Whittle Sea at the uh, Seal Research Camp. On, on the sea, sea ice. ice. So, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing we're all part of that but where somehow. Where's this going? That's our need, Melissa. I don't know what oh, our jobs are. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have jobs there. You, can, you get to define that. Yeah. Right. I mean, last time we played this, we, we, uh... Gave ourselves jobs. We, yeah, it just worked out that we all can't had one, but you can decide what that is. Okay. Since it hasn't been defined for you. <laughs> I'm the Antarctic fire chief. So, <laughs> Travis and I have a soul relationship in that I'm a poet and he is my muse. Correct. He's this hoodlum criminal <laughs> that wants to get even with everyone, and I somehow find inspiration in that I'm and amusing. write poetry about it. Uh huh. Melissa and I work together. We both are handlers of visiting dignitaries, <laughs> and we really need to get out of oh this work detail because it's killing yeah, us. Yeah, it's like, but really, how many people do we get in the Antarctic? <laughs> exactly. Well, that could be funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, um. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> and work has the... been slow of late. Yeah. All right, and what's the other relationship over there? All right, we have a romance of a lifelong crush and object of crush. You so it's shall a potential be the romance. I'll be the person getting crushed on. All right, I have a crush, but I also want to get even. <laughs> That's about how it works. I don't know, you haven't been in the game maybe, in a long time. Maybe, That's maybe, how it works. maybe your crush on her is the reason you want to get even with everyone on the ice. Maybe they, yeah. everyone did something to her. I mean, this her job is killing her. That's true. And she wants to get out. Maybe I think it's because of you. Oh. you know, you're like influencing her to leave, and I don't want her to leave. So I want to get leave. even. Oh. Yeah, if I leave, that's it. Okay, that's well, it. this is already starting to be interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to be Melissa's, I'm not going to just be Melissa's uh, work buddy. I'm going to be like her BFF. Oh. So my name's going to be Tammy. <laughs> I'm going to be Margarita something. <laughs> something. Is that a boy or a girl? Why do I have to define it in binary terms? Well, what are you going to be playing? What's the gender of the person you'll be playing? Yes. <laughs> you guys turn away now. <laughs> uh, I'll be a lady. I'm going to be... Uh, I need a good name, though. Margarita Table. Yeah, I'm a sports Margarita enthusiast. Glass. Like <laughs> Margarita Glass. <laughs> Margarita Glass. <laughs> That's your crime name. That's not <laughs> your crime of sports enthusiasm. <laughs> I love sports. <laughs> so much it's a crime. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel that I... one more S right there. I represent... I feel that my job is... Where at? In between the A and the T. Oh, yeah, you're right. I feel that my job is mascot for I mean, the Antarctic it, but... seals. <laughs> we know it's there. I think my job, I'm here because I'm a mascot for the Antarctic seals. Okay. Oh. You're like a, you're, you're like a, oh, I know what you are. You're one of those um, bleeding hearts for the animals. P uh, what's it called? <laughs> the choice we didn't take. <laughs> the PETA thing. Uh, you're like a PETA person. You came to the... So my mascot ice. costume is not actual fur. <laughs> no, it's no, no fur. it's fake. And you're like trying to get everyone to stop hurting the seals. While loving sports. While loving sports. Yeah. And I want to get you... Yeah, okay, I like that. Hello. Hey, Hi, Power Ranger. I am a mascot slash eco-terrorist. Eco-terrorist. <laughs> well, that's yeah. not an eco-terrorist. Eco... <laughs> eco question mark? Go. Eco person. Who are you? You're Brandy. Okay, Brandy. Because we're on the we're on the the uh, the sea and Brandy. Oh, oh you're, you're a fine girl. girl. Fine. What a fine <laughs> wife you would be. A good one. Bleeding through. I was like, it's it's better not be bleeding through. Yeah. So I'm Brandy. Wait, I'm Tammy. I write poems about you, Margarita. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just amused. You're just amused. I'm a seal. <laughs> everywhere I no, go. I didn't in, bring that one up. Everywhere I go <laughs> into Antarctica, I uh, start a slow clap like a seal. <laughs> to represent. Oh yeah, that that didn't come up there, but yeah, Jenna was swimming with dolphins our... on her. Oh, that's cool. Hers, but then her swimming Ernie. with dolphins turned into not so swimming cool. Swimming with jellyfish. It, Ew. Swimming, getting stung with jellyfish. That's not as much fun. No. Ernie. You're the only guy. R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> I don't know what my no last relation. name is. Brandy. Fine girl. I'm not putting in a last name. I'm just putting Tammy. Fine you're girl. Just, you're just tiny. Just yeah, it could be fine girl. Can you imagine, <laughs> like, the little tag, like, Tammy. Hello, my name Brandy. is Brandy. Tammy. Isn't that your mother's name? I'm Brandy. No, Fine my mother's girl. name is Tawana. Tawanda. 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 There's no D, just Tawana. Tawanda, Tawanda forever. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Tawanda forever. <laughs> All right. Well, don't forget we have this dead <laughs> seal know. that plays into the story in some kind of way. Probably. It could be me. Probably not. <laughs> Ronald, is, but, um, Ronald had a hopeful gleam in his eye for a moment. <laughs> Maybe you, we just start the story, you're dead already. <laughs> like. 
Um, then I come back as a ghost. So the shtick. Get even with everyone on the island. The elevator pitch for Fiasco is that we are people who have powerful ambition and poor impulse control. So that's part of the shtick of this. What was that picture? Who was he? Okay. Um, <laughs> Probably someone who made the game. We'll no, it was like an old timey picture. So we put the dice back in a central pile again. And now we're going to start the actual game. Now that we've defined all of our needs, our location, our object and our relationships. And these dice were just rolled randomly? No, they're not rolled at all. Okay. We don't uh, We don't use the numbers. That's right, we just take them and then we roll them at the A. Yeah, we're gonna roll them at the end. During halftime. <laughs> During the tilt, <laughs> the tilt. The intermission. Okay, so I'm gonna explain how this works. I don't know if, Jesse, if you wanna put our names yeah, yeah, yeah. up there that. while I explain that. And I'm gonna pour myself another round. Okay, great. So, um, what happens in act one is, <laughs> We're gonna go in turn, starting with Jesse. He is going to decide, hey! Hey! Oh, I bet you I know who that is. I think that's Wes. Hey, Wes! Hey, Wes! A five hour game oh of Caverna. Oh my gosh. Well, I've only played Caverna one time, and it was like a really long time ago. Whee! So I don't remember much about it. I like this little hat. Watch. Ridiculous. <laughs> Doing ding. Ding. All right. So as I was saying, it's we're going Wes. to. Oh, it's Wes! Hey. So ding 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 ding. I was like, that looks familiar. Jesse's gonna start. He's gonna set up. He's gonna choose. He can either establish a scene or resolve a scene. Let's just pretend that he decides to establish. If he decides to establish, he's going to say, okay, this scene takes place at blah, blah. It's so-and-so talking to so-and-so, and they're talking about blah, blah. Hey, t we'll make her one, Wes. What do you think you're for? <laughs> As the scene plays out, <laughs> since he established it, the people who are not in the scene are going to decide which kind of die to give him. If they give him a black die, it means his scene is not going to go well for him. If they give him a white die, his scene, he's going to get what he wants out of the scene. In terms of acting, you have an objective, and if you get a white die, you theoretically achieve your objective, and a black die, you theoretically don't. Yeah, I mean, just in general terms, it doesn't work out for you, or it does. It goes your way, or it doesn't go your way. It doesn't have to be as specific as, I want X, and I didn't get X. Right. That's an easy way to like boil it down, but it can be just, in general, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't go well for you. Now, did um, we re-roll these, or did they don't we need to be rolled? Mm -mm. Okay. Remember, we're going to roll them at the end. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. So um, we have a way of doing that, of where you'll be able to see the die that we've selected on screen. Um, so the actors who are in the scene will be able to see it as well. Once you get that die, so let's say we give Jesse a white die. In Act One, he has to choose to give that to someone else. He doesn't get to keep it, and that's going to be important whenever we get to the tilt. In Act Two, you keep the dice that you're given. That's the big difference. Mm. Once everybody has done two scenes, act one will be over and we'll do the tilt. It took us 40 minutes to just establish our character. <laughs> well. So the scenes are pretty... <laughs> D&D, creating the characters, two-thirds of the work. The scenes are pretty short. Um, the whole. That's the whole point of this game. So, Jesse. All right. You get to start. Establish or resolve? Oh, yeah, I didn't explain resolve. If you choose to resolve instead of, instead of uh, establishing you are going to get to decide, the other players are going to set the scene, and you're going to decide which kind of die you're going to get. So you're going to decide how it pans out, whether good or bad for your character. I would say that's the less popular option. Some of the people I've seen play online don't even like do that ever. They only ever establish. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they even All right, it. All really, right, I but. will establish. All right, so what's the scene? It is a cold day in Antarctica. At McMurdo Station. At McMurdo Station. Actually, we're, we're nearby the, at the yeah. Little Sea. On the research station. Yeah. On the camp on the ice. Your scene doesn't have to take place there. It just could. Yeah, yeah it's a good starting spot. It's a though. location. Yeah. So it's yeah, a good we'll starting location. location. Very cold. Very cold. Yeah. And um, the funny thing is, it's it's like ninety degrees outside. <laughs> 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 Real life here, so. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm meeting up with uh, Margarita Glass just to go over everything that, you know, establishing this 
whole thing, basically. Your your crime relationship. Our crime relationship is and well, what you are chatting about the people that are around us that we plan to get even with. We Sports enthusiasts. Okay, <laughs> great. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Transition. <laughs> Can they hear us? Yeah. Right now? Uh-huh. Hi! Uh, I brought you a jacket. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Ernie! <laughs> cold out here. It's so cold out here, Ernie! Uh, why do you keep saying my name, Margarita? <laughs> it's really hard to say your name. Because I want to establish how much I know and respect you, Ernie. Okay, okay. Did you catch the game last night? Uh, you know, of course I did. Yeah. We're sports enthusiasts. Sports! <laughs> I love the sports. I love sports. Sports are amazing, man. But you know what I can't stand? What can't you stand? The other people on this island. I hate here. all the people on this island. Every but, except single for, one of them. Except for Brandy. Oh, she is a fine girl. Yeah. It's. Yeah. I mean, she's, that's also her last name. Is you know it that? really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, that's her last Small name. Small continent. Small, small, small continent. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes I think, you know, what a fine wife she would be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should, you should lock right. that down. You're right. Lock that down. But, I mean, we should talk about our plan. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I, I, I was got to get what even with everyone. We do have to get even Because what's been happening with our sports enthusiasm, we've been making these bets. Oh, yes. We've been losing these bets. Constantly. So. You think we'd learn to stop betting on the Antarctic yeah. teams? That doesn't exist. And I wish Brandy Fine Girl would stay out of the blue screen. But yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've been making these bets, and you know, we gotta make a bet we can't lose. Uh, yeah. And get even with everyone on the island. Yeah. So. We, I, c c sure, agreed. We'll get even. Yeah. No! Oh, oh, slippery ice. Slippery. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Things had to not go well for me at the end of this, <laughs> for some reason. I think it's for me, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the ice is slippery. It is slippery. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know what? It. No, what? Sports! So, so <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope they didn't hear our plan. I hope I, I concur. I mean, all these seals out here have some audio devices. I forgot about those. So. Well, to be fair, one of those seals is just my costume. Oh, that's so, right. Yeah. Because you're a mascot. Oh, uh, yeah, because, you know, I love the sports. Go Seals! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's pretend we were never here, okay? We were never here. Ooh, slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Fiasco that right. was. So oh, traditionally yeah. the scenes are not played as comedies, but instead dr very dramatic and very serious scenes, not meant to be funny at all. The camera move. I cannot oh. help my natural hilarity. There we go. There's some blue screen issues going on right now. Yep. I think because you're leaning. Are you okay? There you go. Yeah. Is, all right, is the shoe blue and teal? Is it teal and gray or is it pink and white? Let us know in the chat. Is it what? The shoe. Everyone on the internet is what I'm talking about. Even if you, you guys don't. Dress? No, it's a shoe now. We've so moved on. The dress uh, is so shoe. 2017. Uh, okay. <laughs> right, you have to give that. You have to give that to someone. All right. Yeah, you have to give your black dye to someone. To give my black dye to someone, I'll give it to Melissa. <gasps> Me. You guys didn't even explain why you wanted to get even. What you were gonna do in order to get even. Well, we had to wrap it up. I saw the dice. So I had to set it up. Things may not go our way in the future because someone yeah. may have overheard our conversation. Yeah. Mm. We've just left room for interpretation. Oh, it's my turn, isn't it? It is. Um, yes. I want to establish. The shoe is gray. I think. I agree. Gray and teal. I don't know what y'all are talking about. I think. What is your job? You're a handler. Shoes. My God. I think Shoes. we're at the McMurdo Sports Bar, and you've come in. For a like we're, I'm like there, and I want to talk to you, or no? How about you come? You come to talk to me because I'm your muse, and I'm just there to watch the game. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> We're in the kitchen and recreation building. Ah, yeah, go Seals! Woo! Go Seals! 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 Go
Go oh, see. It's snowing it. inside. <laughs> There's Man. a hole in the room. All right. God, they're supposed to fix that thing. <laughs> Seals. Hey, Margarita. Oh, hey, happy Cinco de Mayo, uh, Tammy. Yeah. How um how has it been going? Project your voices. How's it been going? <laughs> Everything's been going fine. Oh, come on. How could you miss that call with the ball of sports? Um, I, I wanted to come by and see you. You know you know, I've been working on um, that um, book. Are you blind? The book of poetry. You write poetry? Yeah, you know that. We've, we've had this conversation many times. Oh, right, right, right. Because there was the one about plants. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this next one I want to I write about, you know... Something with you. I mean, I, I know you're here about the seals. He was out! I am here about the seals. What have you heard? Can you tell me more about that? Who's asking? Me, a poet, who wants to write about you. Isn't this something that's really important to you? Yeah. Could you tell me about it? <laughs> <laughs> I love the seals, but I've noticed that not everyone here shares my interest. <laughs> How do you feel about seals? Like I love the seals. Like, deep down... Like, seals the team or seals the seals? The seals. Which one? The You're animal. You're a poet. Use your words. The animal. Okay. Okay. I'll drink to that. Happy Celo de Mayo. So, yay. I will, uh, I will let you write your book of poetry about me. Good. Well, do you think we could get together, I don't know, in a week or so? You could come over to my studio, and I could, you know, just get some stuff on paper. Yeah. Maybe you could, you know, <laughs> do a little, like performance for me about like some performance art to inspire me i can do that sure all right go seals great <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> there was supposed to be a scene about you and all you did was talk about something on the t like i think you might be missing the point of this game <laughs> i'm sorry am i having too much fun for you <laughs> It's almost like if you were playing near and far and you were just like, forget the stories, finish the game as fast as possible. I'm sorry, are you referring to my winning near and far strategy? How many times did you win? How many times did you win? Way less. Than me. Less than everyone. Exactly. <laughs> but you didn't win. Not the campaign, but I won several games. Like two. Enough. Two enough. Meanwhile, it's your turn. You can establish, <laughs> oh wait, I need to give a die to somebody. I yeah. give it to Jesse. Uh, I guess. All right. Well, um, I guess it just makes sense for me to set up the scene with Brandy, um, since she and I are so an anxious to get out of this work detail that's killing us, and we're BFFs, and, um... <laughs> I guess we need to, um, we could, we could also discuss the fact that, um... That oogie guy Ernie is like crushing on you. I don't know if you know that yet. Do you know that yet? I think I do because I put it on my car. Like it's like I know it, but it's like, what am I gonna do about that? Mm-hmm. Like, you, do you I'm like, like him or no? Well, it's like because I, I think that well, I. I guess do. we can play the scene out. Yeah, but where are you? That as we go. Um, we're um, let's see where we are. I need to. Know where do you want you. us to be? Out in the cold. We're, <laughs> we're not there. I think we're in a dormitory room. A dormitory room. An Antarctic room. dorm room. Or Southern Exposure Coffee House. Southern Exposure? You yeah. You are in a Denny's? B107 Southern Exposure Coffee House. Yay, I want to be at a coffee house. I'm going to chit-chat Southern Exposure at a coffee, coffie coffee house. house is a Denny's. Yeah, I'll bring that up first, and then I can go from there. But, uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Come up one more project. Yeah, extend between the wood. Oh, I was like halfway off the screen when I stood here. Oh. <laughs> well, she's a little short. Oh, look. It's, 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 it's coffee house. Stand closer together. They're coffee. <laughs> there, there you go. There we go. Now hey. we got a coffee house. Hey. hey, Brandy, come sit with me. Hey. Hey, hey girl, hey. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. Well, I've been busy. You know, all that handle and stuff is about killing me. What dignitary are you dealing with right now? Oh, the, the, you know, the one from the 
place down under somewhere. Or... Djibouti? Oh, yeah, yeah, Djibouti, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that must really stink. I've had to deal with him before. Yeah. Um, so how's that thing going with that guy, that Oogie guy? Oh, Ernie? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean, he seems all right, but I mean, this job is about near crib. I'm, I'm ready to get out. I, I was just about to say <gasps> the same thing. Really? Oh my gosh, we could go and find somewhere else to go together. Okay, where? I, I don't know. Just not where that Djibouti person's from. <laughs> well, I had to deal with the dignitary from France last week, and you know how she is. Mm. Well, that's, yeah. Oh, but what about that one from Scotland? Oh, he was a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> he was a hoot. He was a hoot. <laughs> well, look, why don't we um, plan to uh, meet up and decide where we're going to go and when we're going to go and how we're going to go. Okay. We, I agree with you. We have to get out of it. But then you got to help me with this Ernie situation because then I don't know how to let him down nicely if, if we leave. Um, okay. I will. Okay. I'll help you. It, okay. I, I don't really want to help you, but I will. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to do the dice. Do you even understand the point of this game? Yeah. I forgot to look down at the dice. We're establishing so. things, right? Yeah, now. like, I, I didn't, yeah. I didn't look down here. Here, I'll give this to Travis. Thank you. Oh, good job. I pushed the lever in my chair one more time. He's from that place down under Australia? <laughs> You're like, the Djibouti. Djibouti. What? <laughs> well, I didn't want to offend anybody. I doubt we have any viewers from Djibouti. <laughs> so, who had the dice? Who got the dice? I gave it to him. Melissa, establish a resolve. Oh. Um, let's, let's have our first resolve. How about that? All right. So we're setting up a scene for Brandy. All right. Oh, we need to see Brandy and Ernie interact. I think we need to see Brandy and Ernie. I think that's a great idea. So what if- I think Brandy's still at the coffee shop. And he like pops out of the garbage can? Or and as soon, <laughs> as soon as I'm gone, he's been hiding. Yeah, Ernie, what's your job? Did we establish that? <laughs> Haven't said, we'll, we'll find out in the scene. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's still in the coffee shop. What did you just write right there? Djibouti. That's not Djibouti. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I wrote it like a name, like a person. I was right. I mean, in your defense, it's really hard to spell Djibouti, right. but that's definitely not it. I just wrote it like, like DJ. It's DJ Udi. <laughs> DJ Udi. Djibouti. DJ Udi. I wrote it like a name. Oh my god. You guys. <laughs> I think I think that um, Brandy has just finished her conversation with Tammy. Tammy's left out into uh -huh. the snow and ice, uh -huh. and it turns out Ernie was like outside the window, like watching the whole time. Like I, I think he's a little stalkery. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. totally. I see that. Sports, sports. And now that she doesn't have her friend there, he comes it's in. It's an opportunity. And we All we right. find out what the situation is Creek between them. Must do it. You get to resolve Melissa, so you're going to pick the die. Okay. You can tell us after. <laughs> hey, Brandy. Ah! Where'd you come from? It's a coffee house. Anyone's allowed here. Oh, okay. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> hey, I know I owe you that money still. I'm going to get it to you. But, you know, the ATMs are kind of far and few between mm -hmm. out here. Yeah, I... Okay, I understand that, you know, that yeah, we, are, yeah. we are kind of far. Maybe since far you're away. so short, too, you should stand a little closer to the camera than I am. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You call me short? Well, you know, it's just for the viewers at home, as they say. Because <laughs> that's a saying. Mm -hmm. So, how's everything been going? Uh, you know, you know, um, couldn't help but see, uh, you know, I saw Tammy earlier, like, 20 seconds ago. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tammy, we were just talking, you know, she's I mean, uh, that, you know, about we're talking job. about uh, getting away and all, and I mean, I don't know why you want to get away from all this, but uh, it was pretty nice down here. Nothing but, like, vegetation and then everything else everywhere else, you Vegetation? Know. Where have you been around? No, I mean, leaving here, that's all you gotta oh, look forward yeah, to yeah, is yeah, bright yeah. sunny skies and... Well, what's wrong with that? Beaches and nice stuff. Well, you know, it's like... <laughs> 
down here, you know, you got the seals. Oh yeah, go ice. seals! Woo, 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 go seals! And uh, in the seals, where is she gonna <laughs> find seals? Anyways, you know, you, I think you should stick around, you know, because I owe you that money, so you gotta like stick around, you know. I owe a lot of people uh, well, money. I'll stick I'm a bookie. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, I'll, 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 stick, I'll stick around. For <laughs> I don't know a if I ever bit. established that ever. Yeah, but. we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll stick around for a little while. Well, but, I think yeah. you should. You know, I gotta talk to Tammy some more. We There's a lot of things around here, you know. Maybe out. even some stuff right in front of your eyes, you know. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. You well, know? we'll we'll talk, we'll talk some more about that later. So we're gonna see each other later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see each other later. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. When? Okay. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. All right. Yeah, I'll meet you out on the ice. Yeah. Well. All right. I'll send you a message on MySpace. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. MySpace. 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 You didn't tell us what color value you wanted. Yeah, I wasn't clear yeah. that resolved your value. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, that's why you'll put this one out, so that's but why. But you I, are going on a date with the Oogie guy? Yeah, that's why. I, that's what you wanted? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was like Oogie to you and you didn't want, and he was like a stalker. But you're like, hey, babe, let's go out on a date. Just, well, he he that brought up the money. Nice on the logo like that. I gotta get the money, because maybe <laughs> right. that's our ticket out of here. Okay, you gotta if give that the, white die to somebody. If I get the money from him, that's our ticket out. We can we can leave. How much money did you loan him? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I feel like it was like gambler. 10 bucks. By the way, there is an ATM. It's one of the locations, the Wells Fargo I know, ATM. I know there is. Yes, I that's why I said it was broken. <laughs> All right, I'll but there's only one. Maybe Thanks. we'll get out of this pup's All right. stand. Back to Ernie. Back to Ernie. So I'm a bookie. That <laughs> owes me money. Um, let's see. I think I need to go catch up with Tammy after she left. Mm. All right. Yeah, tell her to get out of her head. All right. Where are we? Uh, I'm catching up with you outside, I guess. We're on the ice. We're on the ice, yeah. Let's go uh, to the ice. Got plenty of ice. Here we go, we're outside of this building. <laughs> It's a random building. Shenanigans will ensue. <laughs> All right, so let's do it. You need my gloves? <laughs> I'm gonna use your scarf. I know I owe you that money still, and I'm gonna get it to you. <laughs> but uh, Look, I just wanted to talk I, to you. I, I do need that money. Could you give it to me today? Uh, I'll see about that. You know, the, I think the ATM's out of order right now, and uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, Maybe you could use Western Union. Well, that is a choice. You know, uh, I think we only have Southern Union out here, but uh, you know. I like that ATM. I like to use the ATM. So we got a guy coming out. He's going to come fix it. You know, I think you're supposed to meet with him later, maybe. I don't know, because, you know, that's the thing you do. But I wanted to talk to you about Miss Fine Girl. Brandy. Yeah. My friend. Your friend. You need to stay away from her. She Why? doesn't like you. She doesn't want to be with you. I'm just friends, you know? Look, just she's friends. polite. She wants you to give her money and then get out of her life. I am shocked to hear this news. <laughs> oh. Look, I don't mean for you to take this the wrong way, but she is completely out of your league. Really, you think so? So stay away from her, or else you're gonna have to deal with me and my friends. I just, I just see it in another life like we were married or something. You know? <laughs> Bye, Ernie. <laughs> Gonna be a crime committed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. well, oh no! Hard. So I'm going to establish. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, this was given to you, so you need to give that to someone. 
This one? Mm-hmm. Good to you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to establish, I think I need to meet with Brandy Fine Girl. But I think it's time for me to start getting even. Mm-hmm. Start people. the plan. Yeah. The plan. But you know he has a thing for her. I do. She's supposed to be the one that's accepted. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to live by the rules. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where? Um, I think as Next she's the leaving the deal. coffee shop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, coffee shop again? <laughs> she's leaving the coffee shop. Outside. So, so she's still in it? Maybe she's working on a seal. I like that one. Yeah, the one we were just at. Yeah. We were just at. Oh, yeah, 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 that, yeah. oh, is that where we were? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you I never looked up? Because I just ran out. You, you know, never looked catch up. up. Catch up. All right. To you. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Penguin. Hey, fine girl. Hmm? Hi, it's Hi. me, Margarita. Oh, Margarita yeah, Glass. Yeah, the seal, the seal. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the seal, seal, the seal. seal. You know, yeah, I've seen you around town. It's just funny that there's like six people here and we've never actually met. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, oh, do you know? Do you know what's even crazier? Hmm? You know that guy, that guy Ernie. Oh yeah, yeah Ernie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're together. Uh, yeah. Uh, we are. But he... Oh, yeah. well, okay. So well. Keep, your, keep your hands off of him. Oh. In fact, you know, I think you should just leave. Okay, leave, well, the, but, leave the continent. But he owes me this money, so... You know, I, uh, I just want you gone. Okay, well, as soon as I get my money, I think I, think I, can, I can head out. Well, if out. you give me that penguin, I can probably get you your money. Pedro here? Yeah, you give me that penguin, I can get you that money. That's, that's the promise I make to you. And it looks like I'm gonna succeed in getting that penguin. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's All right, I'm gonna take this penguin and I'm gonna get your money. Okay. Have a good Sorry. day, fine girl. Right. And start packing. Oh, okay. Right. My penguin. <laughs> it's for the best. You can't take it with you to LA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where did you get that penguin from? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna give that white guy that to, to my scene partner, Melissa. Yay! All right. So right now, Melissa and I each have one of each, and Ernie has one, and Margarita has one. And that's a bit of strategy as well, like balancing out the dice, right? Yeah. Uh, in Act One, the only thing this is really gonna matter is um, you're gonna roll them, and whoever has the highest in black is gonna get to choose the tilt. And whoever has the oh, highest right. in white is going to be able to also choose the tilt. There's going to be two tilts. Okay. Um, so that's all that really matters for Act 1. For Act 2, at the end of the game, you're going to roll all your dice and subtract the larger from the smaller. The closer to zero that you are, the worst. If you get a zero, you'll probably be worse than dead, which is what happened to a lot of us the last time we played this game. Uh, you mean 50%? Uh, yeah. It's two of us worked out just fine. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one we should have recorded. That was that so was funny. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, my side. Yeah, our other session yeah. off camera was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's my turn now. Oh, yes. Tammy, Tammy. Tammy is going to meet up with um, we still have our date, don't forget. That could also be an act two. Oh yeah, that I need to do that before I leave. All right, this is gonna be um, no, this is gonna be Tammy and Brandy again, mm. and I'm gonna tell her what happened with Ernie. What, whenever I saw him. Where at? We're um, at the dorm or whatever. This will work. Some indoor place. Yeah, yeah that's that'll work. All right. Hey, Brandy. Look, I wanted to tell you what happened. When I was leaving the coffee shop earlier, that Ernie dude came up to me. I think he was like listening in on our conversation. Here. I told you he's a complete creeper. But I told him he needs to stay out of your life and that we're leaving and we're getting out of here as soon as we get our money. Oh, he owes you money too? Yeah, just $450. Oh, 
Wow. He owes me money, too. How much does he owe you? Like, 500. Oh, my goodness. He seems... I mean, it's almost criminal to owe people that much money and not give it to really? them. So look, I told him to stay out of your life. You need to make sure and, and always, when he comes around, just tell him no. Just get him out because he is nothing but trouble okay. for you. Well, we're supposed to meet tomorrow so I can get this money, so we will figure it out then. Oh, is the Wells Fargo guy coming on his big wagon with the trombones? I mean, not trombones, the ATM machine fix thing? I guess so. I mean, that's what he said. Okay, so you agree to, to not meet up with him anymore, right? After we get the money. Because then we got to get out of here. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll wait on it. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll not meet with them. We'll, we'll figure it out. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think you're a little bit confused, <laughs> I, I Randy. Am. I mean, it's Cinco de Mayo. I, I don't know how many of these. <laughs> so what you're saying is you can't guarantee you're not going to meet back up with him even after tomorrow. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Next and <laughs> but you're not gonna give me what I want. No. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
You're the Canadian dignitary. All right. Ooh. So this is South Canada, eh? <laughs> no, not South Canada. This is the Antarctic. Aye. Where do they make the syrup? The we don't make syrup around here, sir. Where? What do you make? <laughs> eh? Uh, we make ice. Lots and lots what? of ice. <laughs> I shouldn't have said Canada. We have viewers from Canada. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, over there is uh, ice packing, and over there is ice distributing. Oh, you got a pretty ice place here. Uh, Get it? Ice place. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes, Canadian. <laughs> yep. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Well, what do you what do you hope to see in Rome? I've heard parts? tell of a Denny's. Do you have a Denny's? Uh, yes, we do. We do have a Take Denny's. Take me to Denny's. All right, well, is there anything else you'd like to see while we're around? I don't know. What needs do you have? Yeah, Melissa, Melissa, what do you need? What do you need? Get your needs. I mean, I'm pretty good. He's, I'm pretty good. He's chill. an NPC. What do you need? Uh, yeah, you won't be here next time. <laughs> I mean, I'm just following your Use lead. Use them as you need. Um, I need us to get this, uh, this money from this bookie. Hey, just come out with it. <laughs> My, I know we spent some time together here on the runway, but I didn't think we were that kind of friends. I mean, I, I could call some moose I know, but I don't think it help you out. <laughs> you know, do you have Mounties here? Perhaps they could shake it out of... I mean, do you want, do you want me to have the bookie arrested? Uh, why don't we just get you to your, your place where we're Denny's? just saying, yeah, the Denny's, let's just, Denny's. Just, let's, let's, let's head to that Denny's place. But alas, I feel that something may not work out in our, your favor. <laughs> She's not getting her needs. She's not yeah. getting any help with her needs, so it's yeah. not working out. You're anymore. right. I don't care about your needs. <laughs> I care about my needs, and I need Denny's. All right, let's go. I, I don't know. She's so confused. I don't know. I'm, I'm She's not glad I gave a tour. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you need to get out of your job. Gosh. So that's act one. Melissa, who do you want to give that it to? It ends on something of a bizarre note. <laughs> well, I was just very confused about like... like traditional I can't really move forward with the character until we get into the next act. act one. Like, that has no meaning. Like... Because really, right now it's We're like there'll be some you expanded want to fan fiction where they go to Denny's. <laughs> 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 All right, That's after Chris. We're just going to add Denny's. Right. Sure That's the stinger at the end. <laughs> now it's time for the tilt. So now we roll the die that we have. Yep, roll the dice that you have. Do we all have the same. I have two black. Oh, sorry. I did not <laughs> roll well. No, you didn't. I didn't. Either. You tied me on black. Oh Lord, well, Snickers! I got the highest on white. <laughs> And we one of you on will be the high. Oh, it'll be Jesse. Oh, I got a big old Kirby. snake eyes. <laughs> no, also because you have the other die. Why not? Yeah. Um, all right. So let's turn to the tilt table, please. All right. Go on the story. <sighs> tilt table. Here we go. All right. These are our uh, options right here. These dice. You gotta be over there. Did you roll them? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to roll them. Yeah, I think we were supposed to roll. Roll the dice in front of you, do some math. Roll the unused dice in the central pile. All right. So we have some choices. Looks like everything but a two. Do we need a note card for this? Yeah, we do. And six. No twos and no sixes. You can't have a tragedy or a failure. Well, let's go for Mayhem. All right, you're going to choose Mayhem, which is number one. Mayhem. That's right. Something needs to happen. <laughs> All right, so to define that Mayhem, I have one, three, four, and five. A rampage, a chase, oh, three. A dangerous animal gets loose. Oh, Mag I'm just saying. <laughs> magnificent self-destruction or cold-blooded score settling. You guys are supposed to be getting even, and I haven't seen any of that yet. I oh. messed with her. I made her miserable and tried <laughs> to get her to leave. Out. I tried to ruin her relationship. I tried to get her to leave. My stuff is festering. All right, I think. And I took her penguin. 
doing? I think number four. <laughs> what more do you want from Cold me? blooded. Oh, number four. Magnificent, Magnificent self destruction. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be not like real life. <laughs> I can see Jesse's character like going down that path of like, oh yeah, you won't be with me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, one, no! four, one, three, four, and five. Um, let's see here: innocence, guilt, paranoia. Let's do guilt. That's what number four. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll give you a one, three, four, five. All right. What do you choose? Last one. Oh, I do. You do. That's right. It goes under guilt. Yeah. Guilt. One, three, four, five. One, a visit from the authorities. Three, somebody develops a conscience. Four, greed leads to killing. Five, somebody panics. Hmm. Let's go, um... Hmm, I'm between one and four. Greed leads to killing. (laughs) Melissa wants her money so bad. (laughs) Give me that money, I gotta get out of here! Because her need is not to get out, her need is just to get her money. Right. Well, I gotta get get out money to get out. Yeah, I think I thought the money was like a joke, and but Melissa has clung to it. (laughs) It's a tangible objective. (laughs) I need that money. Far more high concept. So I can get out of here. And I thought it was way more money than y'all made. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I was like, he's borrowing money from a lot of people, and like y'all are like, oh, four fifty. I'm like, I also like that it's fifty dollars shy of a thousand. Yeah. Right. Also, four fifty and five hundred. Originally, when she when she said how much money does he owe you, I was gonna say like twenty bucks. Yeah, I thought the, 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 it thought it was gonna be drastic. Like, yeah, like, four fifty. I was like, oh, she should say like twenty thousand, yeah. but she didn't. <laughs> okay, um, that would have made so much more sense though. Seventy five cents. Comedy. <laughs> Seventy five cents. He bought a coke at the machine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a visit from the authorities. We don't know who. Maybe the authorities are already amongst us. Perhaps one was recently established. Yeah, or maybe someone's <laughs> been undercover. I, this whole I time. heard you didn't have any Mountie, so. <laughs> The penguin now. <laughs> <laughs> now you're stuck with a prize. Right. Hi, I'm Travis. I'm gonna write a scene where you have five props. <laughs> Two hands. Alright, so these are all gonna go back into the middle. The ones you have, you're gonna still keep. We now have our tilt mayhem. Magnificent self-destruction. We don't know how that plays in, and guilt. A visit from the perhaps unofficial authorities. So somebody's feeling guilty and someone else is feeling self-destructive. Mm-hmm. Now the game I tells us both. at this point to take a break, uh, go stretch, have a snack, have so a drink. So how do you guys feel it's going so far? We should oh. also talk about I have a direction <laughs> where where our characters are going, where the story is going, la la la. Well, I established that I was going to get Brandy's money in exchange for the penguin. So I oh. I now have a, yet another thing to do. <laughs> Yay. I'm going to push forward uh, Marguerite and I's plan in the next scene. I think that's good. Great. Yeah. And I can also try to get money from you. And Melissa are going to try to just get our money and get out. Just like we did whenever we played, I think... It start like the first thing we established like, was like, okay, we got this big event going on soon, yeah. and that kind of gave us a direction to go. So I'm gonna do that in our first scene back, and I'm also have plans to bring in our item, our object. Oh, fun! I'm excited to see where this goes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I could see a use of this too if you don't. So, um, great. Well, then let's um, let's get that first scene rolling. Oh, and don't forget, we have to have a date this act. And we have write, to have we gotta a write poetry too. about it. Yeah. Well, Travis and I are going to meet in the first scene. Where are you guys uh, I'm meeting? sorry, Margarita and Ernie, or R. Martin, are going to meet. And we're going to meet back at the seal place on the other side of the ice. A different, How convenient. Different, little different background. <clears throat> Wherever um, could this be going? <laughs> we'll see. We'll find out, I guess. In on, part Margaret. two of <laughs> the, the Antarctic Caper Ice. The ice or whatever. The ice. The ice. 
We gotta give it a name. The Ice is the name uh, of it. Have an Ice Day. Unique name. Have an Ice Day. Have the ice, ice Part Two. Seals. Go seals. Yeah, seals. Yeah, seals. Seals! Seals! seals. Hey, you know. how's it been? I've been looking for you. Yeah, no one else ever comes out here. Yeah, here's the thing. Seals don't do much. No, but they're awesome. Do you have 458 to borrow? Here's the thing. Yeah? I do. Yeah? I have a lot more than that. Really? Because I've been planning on... Uh, Taking all this money. In fact, uh huh. Here, stick, let me uncover some ice for you a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, okay, ooh. See Should the seal like... skin? Yeah? I've been hiding everyone's money in this dead seal. <gasps> and then we're gonna get the heck off of this place. The poor seal. You mean get even? The poor well, seal. We're gonna get even by abandoning everyone here. Because there's a boat coming in. Yeah? Yeah. But there's only two spots. And I think you and I should get out of here. That would get us even with everyone on the island. Well, <laughs> maybe. Perhaps. But. Perhaps. But maybe we get even before we leave. Yeah? Because I've just been taking all their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the money. Yeah. You got the plan. How can we get even before we go? Hmm. Well, I need to see where things go with Brandy in the future. Ah, that fine girl. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if things go well, mm -hmm. might not have a spot for you on that boat. I, that, I would not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I but would be against that. You know, maybe we could work something out. Okay. Things aren't all in place. Are, aren't all in place right now. Well, you will have another scene. But what we? Yeah. We will. <laughs> As long as we keep the money hidden here, uh -huh. no one ever comes out here. Right. We right. keep the money hidden here in this dead seal. Right. Frozen under the ice. Sure. And we'll meet back here. Toads. And yes. 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 And? And. <laughs> I think you need to meet with Tammy. Toads. Get her out of Brandy's here. I'll see where Brandy's, what Brandy's up to. Okay. And then we'll put our plan into motion. I totally agree with this. We get even with everybody. Sure. Because if Brandy lets me down, I swear. I don't know what I'll do. You don't know what you'll do? Okay. Let's just see what I'm, happens. I might just have a magnificent self-destruction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right. All right. Good, to it. good talk. Go Seals! <laughs> <laughs> One, we gave our dice away, and Act Two, we keep it for ourselves. Mm. Uh, so it's up to me. Yes, Rita Glass. What are you doing? Margarita Glass. I call you Rita. Um, Rita sure. So because that's a name. I want to have a scene <laughs> a with uh, writing about Rita <laughs> with Brandy Fine Girl. Right. I think I I'm going off on my own here. I've. Um, Asked you to meet me out on the ice. Oh, where the money is. Where we just Ooh, met. Where Don't no judgment, but that's where we're gonna go meet. Ooh. So uh -oh. I hope there's not a visit from the official authorities. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Brandy Fine Girl. It's so cold. I suppose you are wondering why I called you out here today. My Pedro, we made a deal, if you recall. I want you to know, I secretly have been part of the Canadian Seal Authority all of this time. The Canadian Seal. <laughs> because my partner has been shown to be harboring laundered money in seals. Oh no! I am apparently upset about that. I have to confess to you, my partner is the man you know as Ernie Err -er oh, Martin. No. Yes, Ernie Err -er Martin. Oh my goodness. But first and foremost, let's get your money. All right, so dig in there. Just dig in. I don't want to touch the seal parts. 
So that, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, just rig it, dig, dig it a little deeper. Yep, yep, there you go. Not, yeah, okay, there you go. No, I thought it was just 450. Put that one back. Put that one back. Put it back. Okay, just okay, the 450. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. All right, so you have cho choices now. You can get out of town or not. <laughs> you can, I, I would avoid Ernie at all costs. Take my advice and avoid Ernie. Get, just head out of town. Pedro. I paid for Pedro. Oh, <laughs> my friend in the Canadian Penguin Authority is going to take custody of Pedro. And you're going to never see Ernie again. Because white die. Okay. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good meeting. Good meeting. Go see us. Alright, my scene is gonna I'm gonna Good. establish a scene between Tammy and Rita. Alright. My artist studio um, studio. Art studio? Yeah. My, you know, an Arctic art studio. Like it's in like my garage, Probably the equivalent of a garage. Location first it's so an, I can bring it up. It's an Arctic Oh hey, hey Evan Diesel. Oh. Hey Evan. Hey. Thanks for that sub. We heart you. We're doing something a little different today. We're being a little, <laughs> little, little goofy. Little goofy. Right. Hey, by the way, you shorted me. You had, you asked for four fifty. No, no, she asked for five hundred. Mine was four fifty. Oh well, you're short fifty. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll bring the that up. Fee. I'm gonna bring that up with Ernie when That's I meet him. That's the finder's fee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so meeting in the art studio. Here we go. <laughs> Outside. Tammy, I want you to write me like one of your French girls. <laughs> so, um, you know I called you here today because I've been inspired by you, Totes. especially by your causes. I have many. I know that seals are very close to your heart. You're here mm -hmm. to help save them and protect them. I'm all about seals, yes. So, um, I've set up a video camera here because I really want to get your mm -hmm. actual reaction on camera. Mm. Project. Um, I have something here under this uh, sheet that I'd like to show you and just get your, your it's right here actually, okay. your natural <laughs> reaction to it. Okay. I went out on the ice earlier and um, I found a little something that might inspire a reaction out of you, which could inspire my, my, my poetry. Okay. It's a dead seal. <gasps> Why? It looks like it has $550 stuffed into it. <laughs> what? It does. Look, it looks like it has $550 stuffed into it. Oh my goodness. This dead seal has money inside of it. Hey, didn't Ernie owe you money? Yeah. So keeping this money kind of makes you even. Except for this $50 finder's fee. <laughs> Thanks for that. You know what? <laughs> okay. You, you don't even seem to have cared that this seal has died. I'm, I, I don't know if I believe you really are who you say you are. I... I have to tell you. I'm with the Canadian Seal Authority. What? I'm here to bust Ernie R Martin. What? For killing seals and laundering money within, within them. He's part of the underground seal trade. And I'm here to catch him. That's why we've asked that guy from Canada to come here today. So I can make the arrest, and Ernie R. Martin can go down. Okay, well, I really Aboot. wanted to just, I need to take this money. Can you just? No, 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 no. I don't think things should go your way at this particular moment. <laughs> I am going to take the seal and, with my penguin and the money, and I'm leaving with it all. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think things are going your way. <laughs> I will be taking that money. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so you've acquired the dead seal. <laughs> With the money. And a penguin. Dead seal. Oh, okay. It's just to remind me that I have a dead seal. <laughs> With money. 
Is that what say, Antarctic it's a lot money more looks than like? Just his, their two money. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like okay, at yeah, least one thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. So I've got I got a lot of props. I got a lot of MacGuffins here. <laughs> All right, Randy. All right. It's your scene. Oh, it's scene. my scene. Oh, I thought it was you your scene. I, I just did my this. scene. Y'all gave me oh. a black die. So you could be getting out of town. You could be confronting Ernie. You could get info out of Tammy. I think I need to talk with Ernie. I think it's the next day, and we need to have our meeting. She's not taking my advice. Or my advice. She's. It's almost like she's on a path of magnificent self-destruction. <laughs> Maybe I found out in the meantime that my seal's gone. I'm not happy about it. How? You, you've got it. Yeah, we should probably show that. <laughs> that so should maybe that's camera. Yeah, so maybe huh? that's the thing. Maybe what? you come up to you, confront him and you yeah. find him discovering his seal is gone. Oh. Because it's yeah. over here with the Canadian Seal Authority. That's All right. right. But it needs to be a scene about Brandy, not a scene about But Ernie. I'm going to try to ask True. for my money. It's the next day. Is there a meeting about me? You just got that? your money from him. You're just short Margarita 50. gave you your money already. Yeah, you're short 50. You've got your money. You're oh, ready yeah, to go. I'm short, I'm short 50. You bucks. told everyone that once you got the money, you were going to be ready to go. But instead, you're, you said you'd like to set up a meeting where you're tar talking with Ernie for some reason. Which narratively is dramatically interesting. It's Ooh. just the opposite of what two characters have told you to do. That Maybe it's like I'm going to, to tell him I'm leaving. Okay. So what's going on? I'm going to tell you I'm leaving. I found you, have discovered your, your steel thing. You you revealed to me your, your plan about the getting away. Make sure you work towards this need. Yeah, and I'm like, I need to get out too. Maybe we can work out a deal. I can get on okay. that, that boat with you. To reflect the chaos of the scene, a blizzard has rolled in. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Great. All right, here we go. There's a cat in your coat. You walk in. Hey, Ernie. Ernie. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. What? Well, we were supposed to meet today. Remember? I told you we were gonna we we're gonna meet today. Yeah. Are you seeing this hole here? Yeah, what What about it? I see a hole. So what wasn't on. there before? God, bad outfit. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Freezing. Yeah, that hole wasn't there before. I know that for a fact. Well, what was supposed to be in the hole? Because there wasn't... Or you... It was something very important. Something very important, Brandy. Well, what, what was it? Can't you tell me? Some important research. research. Lots of research. Listen, Brandy. I don't know, Brandy. But you and I, you know, maybe you want to get out of here. Yeah, I, I, I was coming. To, I was coming to tell I'm, I'm, I'm ready to leave. I, I, um, I found, I found a way to, to get out. Get out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving town forever. Forever? Yep, forever. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna be amazing. Why would he kill her? <laughs> I don't think that's such a good idea, Brandy. Well, why not? But I, I gotta get out. I gotta leave. This job is killing me. I've gotta go. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I still owe you money, Brandy. Well, you know? but I, I figured that out. Don't worry about the money. I, I figured it out. That's just, the only thing keeping you here. But I just, I, I gotta go. Somebody said if I don't leave, it's gonna be big trouble. <laughs> well, Brandy. <laughs> I mean, so I guess you're gonna leave with that Canadian guy that came into town, huh? Because he's the next one leaving, and you know. Is that right? You're gonna leave with the Canadian guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think so. We're, we're gonna go so I just came to say bye. <laughs> well, sure would be a shame if something happened to him. Uh, well. Well leave me to my hole. Yeah nice talking to you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Melissa is like, I'm oblivious. <laughs> I'm like not following this story nearly as, as much as I was the other one. I don't know. I didn't follow that one much either. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm just not. I'm not following. Oh, Alright, so we each get one more scene. This is it. So Jesse, you're going to establish uh, so or resolve. Oh, I think I need to... Let's see, what do we have left here? We need the self-destruction. What is the guilt again? Oh yeah, the authority, from the officials, which is him that. already. Um, it was not planned; it just happened. Yeah. And you're still trying to get <laughs> even. I haven't seen much of this getting even thing. Yeah. I tried. So happen. I took her penguin and tried to get her to leave by breaking her heart. But I she am didn't leaving. Even listen. <laughs> but I am leaving. I told him, but I'm leaving. I'm, She's just I'm like, so I'm here to be nice. <laughs> so I, I'm getting even with him because I screwed him over. I like uh, so it. we're each getting even on our own terms. Apparently. Okay. Not not together even. That's how it has apparently worked out. Okay. We each hate people on the I side. thought you were sports enthusiasts. I do love seals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sticking to my bookies and bookieism. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> great. All right. So where does this uh, need to go? I think we should talk about it a little more. I have a dead seal. You have full a dead money. seal. He do has... I know you have the dead seal? Is there Both a, of them know I have. Well, she is knows there I had a way access. you could find out? Exactly. Is there a way I she could find out? She knows I had access to it. He. he I mean, who do I think would have taken my money? Well, who, who have you shown it to? Only one person. Mm. I took the money. Out I think of the it's seal. time for you to confront Margarita. Yep. Yeah. I just took money out of the seal. He took the seal out of the ice. Hmm. She he has no way of knowing that. Unless we establish it. So I think it's much more compelling if you confront the only person who knew where your seal is, who right. just by coincidence also happens to have it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do that. I'm gonna approach you. Uh, you're staying at your fancy pad. Yeah, I am. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Margarita. Hey, what's up? Just warming Pedro here by the fire. We have an issue. What's up? I was out in the SEAL area, the, the SEAL research camp on the sea ice. Yeah? The well, the well <laughs> sea. Yeah? Yeah, no one is ever out there. You know how that is? Oh, yeah, out on the Weddell Sea, yep. That's yeah, well, you know, know that little thing I showed you? Oh, that poor SEAL. Yeah. This poor seal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the seventh one of that kind I've seen out there. That was the seventh seal. What's well, missing now? What? You know where it is, don't you? I do. Why would you move it? Truth is, Ernie, I didn't move it. But I know who did. It's that, that Tammy woman. She... <laughs> that Tammy woman? She's had her eyes on your brandy this whole time. But don't you worry, Ernie. I got the seal. It's right here under this fancy bed. <laughs> okay. But unfortunately, the money is gone. I don't know where no. the money is. So that Tammy woman, she must have taken it. What if she and Brandy are planning to get the, on that boat? She and Brandy, that's what they're doing. They're planning to get on that boat. I'm gonna get even with everybody! I think that's a great plan that I fully support also! Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna tag along at a safe distance to see how things play out! <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're out here in Antarctica. No one's gonna see things. No. No. You no? Know? No. So maybe, you know, I'll just go uh, have a chat with them and, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I'll bring my little friend my pistol, and uh, mm. like Pistol Pete, basketball, you know, get my money out of him by force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the way it's gonna go down. That's a choice. Just watch out. You know that Canadian guy's in town. 
Yeah, the Canadian. I'm a little unclear on what he does exactly, but he's here. Well, he got to get here somehow. We'll yep. Take that. I'm gonna take that way out after I. Uh, yep. Do with yep. Tammy. Tammy and Tammy. Yep. It's all Tammy. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a nice place you got here. Isn't it though? I sleep out in the shed. Oh, you gotta book. You gotta book this place. I recently came into some money. That I, this fifty dollars a night. That's what this is. Fifty dollars a night. It's I could have stayed here for so long. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You gotta seal the deal while you can. Uh, I'll go to one. Ah, <laughs> seals. <laughs> I'm allowed to give you another white die. <laughs> You're gonna have an extremely positive outcome. Well, you know, at least I still got the money. <laughs> you kept the money yeah, part. The money. It's you like tricked them. It. it was like pulling it out of the seal. <laughs> Shaking the seal. Oh, here's the seal card. <laughs> oh, man. I have no idea what to do with my life. <laughs> <laughs> Who do I need to talk to? I've been screwing everyone over. Uh, <laughs> so I just had a scene with you. I think... <laughs> well... How does your role as your secret role? What is what is your what is your final? What's the last thing you're doing? Uh, How does your story like resolve? Been manipulating everybody in little ways, like Littlefinger. Yeah, but with no <laughs> actual plan. What, no. If, what, if it's, what if it's a scene by yourself and you're you, <laughs> talking to Petra? <laughs> no, you, you reveal that you are the Canadian dignitary and you are getting on the plane. Um, leaving everyone behind with the money. I mean, leaving the money and no, he takes the money. Right. That's and leaves. So he's just having a, a yeah. solo monologue. <laughs> <laughs> well, there could be an NPC there. I don't know. Someone who works at the airport or whatever. Yeah. How about a stewardess on the plane as I get on the plane? All right. Ronald, will you be my stewardess? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're on a plane. I'm just going to take a leisurely walk over here to the plane. Hold on. We're inside the plane. Oh, you're inside the plane? Yes, we're inside the plane. The plane is already in the air. Yep, we're just taking a nice leisurely stroll to the plane. Well, hold on. <laughs> Not so fast. I was getting it exterior But look, plane. we walk across the room and we, like, vanish. It looks like this room is, like, so yeah. much bigger than it actually is. So many shots with other Wee. people Wee. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> All right, all right. So you're inside the plane. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Because when you're right up against it, you can't. <laughs> Hi, sir. Would you like anything from the car? Well, it is Cinco de Mayo, so can I have another margarita, please? Of course. Thank you. Did you enjoy your stay at? McMurdin Station in Antarctica? I did, you know, it's the gr craziest thing. I, I'm leaving here, this one seat for me and this other seat for Pedro the Penguin. <laughs> you know, these two seats on this plane have been spoken for. It's established that these seats are ours. And uh, I'm now I'm headed to the Bahamas, a oh, Canadian province. You're going from the cold to the heat. Yes! I recently come into a bit of money. As Canadians do. So, yay. That's so good for you. Did Ain't you, it? Did you have someone that you left behind on the ice that was, you know, you were close with? I left behind everyone. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Sir, 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 we're gonna need you to keep it down. This is first class. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to keep going first class. You know, yeah, the plane might crash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I know I'm getting a black one, so. Oh yeah, mine's gonna be half and half. All right. So it's good <laughs> game. Left all good of game. You, <laughs> left all of you in a lurch. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, I think we need to see the resolution of Ernie coming to see Tammy. Yep. All right. But um, I'm not sure why Tammy... I don't think Tammy knows that this is about to happen. Yeah, so maybe she Tammy she's... has no suspicion that... It, Tammy does not know anything about any of that. All she knows you as is the weird stalker guy. Right. 
So where would we in be? In the studio. In the art studio? Yeah, sure, why not? In the art studio. Our right. <coughs> studio, no weather. All right. I've been hearing seen some Brandy again, have you? Oh, I saw enough of Brandy. Ooh. I told her to stay away from you, and I told you to stay away from her. We're yeah, leaving. she told me that. We're getting out of here. Do you have my $500? You know, you have my seal? <laughs> what? What kind of seal? <laughs> Our mutual friend. Brandy? No. The other guy. Margarita Glass <laughs> said you found my seal and it was sans money. That's Out of money. What? That's yours? <laughs> Guess you didn't know what sans means. Wait, that's your seal? <laughs> yeah, that was my seal. That was my bank. So There's no that, banks around here. Wait, was that my money in that seal? It was possibly going to be. <laughs> Do you know who Margarita is? Yeah, it's a fellow sports enthusiast. <laughs> we both cheer on the seals. You know, the Antarctic seals. They're she the... took the seal and the money from here. I just found it by chance. She said that she works for the Canadian Embassy. She's a she's a she's an she's an author one of the authority figures. She I mean kind of unofficial, but Canadian Seal Authority. The Canadian Seal Authority. She told me that she needed to take it so that she could press charges. She's gone? Well, I don't know where she is. <sighs> Was that the plane with the Canadian dignitary on it leaving? That doesn't give me my dead seal back. Or my dead seal money back. I'm going to need everything you got. <laughs> what? I don't have anything. <laughs> this art's got to be worth something. <laughs> I write poetry. It's not worth anything. I'm a very broke poet. And why do I live in Antarctica as a poet? Well, you have to fail. You better give me all this money or I'm going to shoot you dead. I refuse. Or at least I'm going to really injure you. I don't believe you, Ernie. Leave it ambiguous. Just shoot the gun. All right. Somebody well, you may have called my bluff, but... I'm still gonna shoot you! No, oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> So this last die can be whatever color we want it to be. It is a wild. Oh, right. So Melissa's scene can end in either way. She's still gonna receive it, and it's gonna be black whenever she rolls it, but it's for the purposes of the scene can be either color. So this mm. is, what's the last, what plot threads? This is the like? end. This is the yep. end of the story. Hmm, well. It couldn't be in more entertaining hands. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Well, I'm, we have a lot of things going on. I feel like we haven't talked in a really long time. Like Tammy <laughs> and Brandy. What you need is to get why out. Don't you, don't you know, why don't you come to Tammy's yeah, art studio like, to be like, get... I got my money, let's go. And you find her there. Uh, Injured. In, shot in, somewhere. Shot. She's been shot. Yeah. Or do you want us? And then you, you know, you just heard the plane go by over overhead. Maybe I'm still there. Maybe you, you are. You're in the scene, right? Yeah. 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 The only one who can't be is you. And we can, we can run. It's like, ah, I've made a terrible, magnificent self destruction mayhem decision. Let's I could still go, be Ernie. My Canadian person wondering why his plane left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just all be in the scene. Okay, you well, said it's not going to go your way. We are. Oh wait, no, it's it can be color. whatever it can color. Go my way. But you get to decide the color. It, everyone but Melissa gets to decide. Right, right. I right. say it. It's Melissa's scene. It can go her way. Well, we'll see. It's your choice. All right. Is it's everybody our honest? choice? Yep. It's everybody. All Except right. you. I, I thought I was going to be my Canadian. You're not there. I agree. You're I should have been. Flew away. No, you're still here deciding the dice. You're out of the scene. <laughs> 
lean up against the wall. Uh, ow. Oh no! What's oh, happening? God. What's happening? You shot here? me. He Get shot me. Shot. <laughs> Brandy, <laughs> he shot me. Arnie, what have you done? He's he's a thief. He had money in a she seal. She took my Buried money. In the ice. What do you want, Melissa? I feel like I'm self-destructing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need self-destruct right here. Me and Tammy are leaving. Come on, let's get into the hospital. Oh, God. Oh, Brandy. Be careful. Be oh. careful. Oh, Brandy. Oh. You're the Goodbye, only one. Brother. White die. She succeeds. Little <laughs> 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 <a> fun. <laughs> <laughs> Will he go through with it? Shit, Will he turn his life around? He got a lot of white dyes, so he I could possibly okay. turn his life around. But we'll this could be a six and a one. All right, so, game all right so here's what happens now. Now we roll our dice, the ones that we've been given. So these will be off camera a bit, but we'll just say what they are. Ooh. And what you're trying to do is get two very different numbers when you add up the two colors. All right. So I got nine black, five white. Which is going to be a four black. I have an eight white. I have an eleven white, nine black. So that's two. That's two. I don't feel that I. I don't think my plane's going to make it to the Bahamas. I have a six. <laughs> and a ten black, four, five, six white. So you also have four black. Yes. Four How black. fitting that she and I left together, and we got the same number Ooh. and the same color. So if we could change to the um, outcomes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's table. Okay. All right. The aftermath, yes. So, um, let's see here. So, Jesse got first. eight white. So, he is going to have nothing to crow about. Not better, but not way worse either. Maybe the car is wrecked or your wife is leaving you, but there's a court <laughs> date. But compared to some of the other people you know. All right. Travis, what was yours? Uh, it was a difference of two. Eleven white, nine black. Two white. Merciless. You might not be dead on the outside, but you sure as hell are dead on the inside. Canadian. The emotional or mental wounds you have suffered will never heal. The future is a brick wall. Hmm. So you're going to have to figure out how to get to that. <laughs> I got four died to figure it out. Yeah. Both of us have four Melissa black. and I both have four black. That's savage. Savage as in something is broken or mashed. Maybe you've got a permanent limp and a bad reputation. <laughs> Plus, you totally fail. Well, I think we know well, that already. That, yeah. wow. We failed on I our knees. I think we, we pretty much hit the nail on the Let's start with me. So now we have a montage. You put one yep. die in at a time. Yeah. So each die you put in is a scene in the montage it, as we play out Gonna basically the denouement of what happens at the end of the story. Montage. Do you want to walk in and out of the green screen as we do this? No, we can just... Time? <laughs> I thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> have a um, all right. Well, Ernie has run out of bullets. He did not shoot himself at the end. And uh, he's left in the art studio to figure out what's next for him. Margarita is enjoying a margarita on her plane when the lights flash and they hit turbulence. <sighs> Tammy is being wheeled in for emergency surgery from the gunshot. And Brandy is sitting in the waiting room, waiting to hear the results from Tammy's um, uh, gunshot wound. All right. Was mine again? It was like I'm um, kind of the same, or? But were you? But but. What's your number and your color? It was eight white. Nothing to crow about. No better, but not way worse You're either. Maybe the car is wrecked. Your wife is leaving you, but there's a court date. Yeah. But it's compared to some of the other people you know. Yeah, so more of the same. He's, okay. <clears throat> so, Ernie, being out of bullets, no gun shop around. <laughs> he decides to get uh, back into the seals because, you know, they're having a pretty good season. <laughs> um, <laughs> the turbulence does not look to be lifting. Oxygen masks drop from the, uh, the, the overhead compartment. Um, People are screaming, and it's clear the plane is going down. 
you hear the nurses screaming and the doctors screaming and they're saying, we're losing her, we're losing her. Brandy is... A fine girl. Yep. <laughs> um, she never did get to be a good She's wife. hearing all of the, the noise going on and wondering if she made the you know, right choice leaving Ernie back in the art studio. Ernie returns, you know, while in the bar, cheering on his seals, begins taking bets again. Returning to his old life, when he sees another girl walking, Brandy with an I. Called it. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> um, That's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> the plane uh, skids to a crashy stop. Margarita looks around. Uh, it appears she is the sole survivor of the crash. <laughs> it is... It is five years later. Five years have passed. Tammy is still laid up in a bed with tubes and everything on her. And it's clear that she's been in a coma and her eyes open. Ooh. Hmm. Um, later that day, after leaving Ernie, uh... Brandy goes to have a drink to get over things and sees Ernie with a new girl at the bar. I'm getting my story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she becomes the one pining for you. I see. Oh, my thing was about fiasco too. Oh, I see. Arctic I Boogaloo. Okay. Brandy with an eye is nice and everything. Doesn't really go anywhere, but you know, Ernie's never been the one to commit to a relationship, but. He enjoys the pining for all together and finds himself a new seal to store everything in. Margarita climbs out of her seat um, with her briefcase full of smelly seal money. Um, and it, as she walks out of the wreckage, the briefcase kind of opens up and the money flits away and she realizes she is on an Arctic island surrounded by seals. <laughs> It's a few days after Tammy has woken up from her coma, and all she can keep saying is, I'm still here. Oh. And after walking in and seeing it, Brandy goes to sit in a side booth, has her margarita, and wonders if she'll ever actually get out of this place. The yeah. end! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I have to make it out. Wow. What a story. <laughs> what would you call that? A fiasco. Ah. Well, yeah. The nice ice. The nice ice. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> yeah. Sealing the Who's deal. Who's our main character? The ice tower. If you were watching that movie. Me. Really? I'm I always say In the end, in the end, it's... Well, you're the only one that got like a good outcome, so. Yeah, yeah I say Ernie. Oh, I did? Well, was kind well you of got a good outcome, but that doesn't really mean. I and mean, you're the only one that, like, nothing like bad happened to you. Yeah. I mean, I'm still alive. I'm just on an island. Yeah, I mean, nothing really happened to like totally just absolutely bad to any of us. We all just kind of like. I got <laughs> shot and was in a coma for five <laughs> years. Yeah, but you still lived. You didn't die. I was going to say, in theory, someone will like, rescue me from Seal Island. Yeah, <laughs> and like eventually I'll move on maybe sometime and you or like not. woke up. I was going to say, we'll find out. It could have been worse. Too. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. <laughs> I think this game is fun. Yeah. I mean, it's it silly, is, but it's fun. It's fun. I get so confused. It lasts on. exactly as long as this last time we played. Yeah, yeah. Two, right at the two-hour mark. Nice. Interesting. So that's Fiasco by Jason Morningstar and Bully Pulpit Games. If you're interested in this game, check it out. You can buy this book in PDF or the actual physical book. I recommend the PDF. And um, then they also have an entire website called like fiascoplaysets.com or something like that. Hashtag not sponsored. Where you mm -hmm. can go and find all kinds of other playsets than just the ones that are in this book. Um, I recommend that as well. Some of them have special tilt tables. Some of them have special aftermath tables. Um, the ice just use the regular ones that are in the book. But there's all kinds of cool ones for the different playsets. 
So definitely check that out. Um, now, we have been role-playing today, but tomorrow we'll be back for Roleplayer, the board game. R-O-L-L -L player. See what they did there? The See what they did? <laughs> See it? See it? See it? Um, on Wednesday, we'll be here at 7 p.m. Central to play The Quacks of Quedlinburg. I'll be here for that. And next Sunday, for special Mother's Day, we have a, a game all about mothers, Rising Sun. Because we, we all grew up in the house <laughs> where the we were children. So like the mother was like, oh, this is my rising sun. Ah, so right. That, that's why we met. Yep. That's totally why we did. <laughs> I'll be yeah. here for that one too. Um, so definitely tune in for that. Now, is anybody playing right now? Actually, no. It's pretty light. Well, I could just host some. There are only fourteen people in the board game category. Yes. Snap. <laughs> yeah, but we'll just host someone. It's it's all good. What? Send over a host. Is anybody playing D and D? We did do a role play day. <coughs> Yeah, we'll host. That's fine. So thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I appreciate um, you being here. If you watched this on Twitch uh, in the VOD, make sure you hit that follow button. And yeah. if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. It's free after all. You might as well. It really helps us. Let us know if you want to see us do another adventure. I know there's others. Like, there's a bunch of others. Yeah. There are other ones in here. Small could town. Could be something we could do later. Something there's also, else. of course, the other play sets on the other website. You can get yeah. for free. You can download it for free. Yes, you make your own. Uh, Even mm -hmm. Diesel, thanks for that support earlier and for anybody else right. that came through and um nine months Diesel, you could you know you could have had a baby in that time yeah. and i know yeah. we've, um if you also or if you're watching this on youtube hit over to twitch.tv slash heartboard games and you can be live with us interacting yep on sundays mondays and wednesdays we'll go live mm. so we're gonna go ahead and host over to the uh, food they're doing a um extra life board game stream cool. sweet so, yeah. So, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Go have a fiasco. <laughs>